Hello everybody and welcome back to Warren's World. Today we're doing something a little bit fun, a little bit relaxing, a little bit uh, non-time consuming for me. Today I'm going to be reacting to my first ever State Me appearance. Ooh, the start of the pole vault career right here. This was the year that I found I was like, wow, I could actually be good at this if I tried. And so we're going to be watching my jumps and then I'm going to be analyzing them. Uh, and I'm probably gonna be cringing at how my technique looked, but it's good to look back at the past and see how much I've improved since then. So let's get raw into it. Wow. May 14th, 2016, my first medal. Oh, let me, let me get the medal out. We'll, we'll watch it with the medal. Oh, here it is. My UIL state meet bronze medal, the medal I'm most proud of out of my three medals from the state track meet. I've never, I've never pulled these out on any vlogs, I don't think. There it is. <laughs> I have not pulled this thing out of the bag in years. We're gonna put it on so we can remember this moment as well as possible. Oof, so shiny still. Okay, let's, let's, let's play the jumps now. <laughs> so we're gonna watch the first jump. This is at 13 feet. Um, at this time, my PR was 13.6 or 13.9, I believe, as of the start of this meet. So let's let's watch the first jump. Let's watch the first jump. I guess there's no audio. Dang it. Oh, oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, that's absolutely gross to watch now. Holy cow. I had some height over 13 feet though, baby. Woo! Got some height on that. But let's go, let's let's analyze this. Let's let's oh. Alright. So even back then, this is, I know this is so blurry, I'm apologizing that. I took off at 12 feet, but I was not jumping off the ground and I was throwing my head back still because I thought that maybe swing faster. It didn't. I, I made my move too late here, so I should have already gone off the pole. Uh, I, I shouldn't be holding on to the pole. I was just so scared that I was gonna no height. <laughs> I was just holding on to the pole for dear life. But I'm, I'm letting my feet hit really slowly, which I still do now. So, it's, it's excusable, Warren, for the past. You're fine. Let's go on to, I believe this was my 13-6 attempt. Uh, so, almost a PR here. Second bar of the meet. Oh yeah, easy money. Goes over it, almost throws a dab there, almost. This was before dabs were cool though. So I'm just kind of finessing it, getting that finishing move. Took off at 12 feet again. I'm just like, I have no takeoff here and you can see it. Like I am literally just going straight into that pole and just hanging on it. Just 170 pounds just hanging on. Actually I was thinking it was like 160, but there's no takeoff there. That's just running into the pole. <laughs> Good stuff though, over 13.6. All right, cool, cool. Um, at this point, yeah, that was those were both first attempts. Uh, and so we're going to 14 feet here, which would have been a PR. This was a PR jump. Um, also, first attempt. So let's get this jump in. Oh, that was a little better actually. That actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> I always have my finishing move though, like, <laughs> I, I still go over the bar like this, where my like my, my knees are like cocked, like kind of like a frog, a little freaking back tuck, but yeah, um, I'm not keeping my feet together at all, which is fine, I'm not rolling the pole to vertical, uh, as you can see I'm coming off the pole early, to try and stay away from the bar, um, yeah, still throwing that head back, yeah, but hey, 14 feet, first attempt, this was a PR, this is a three inch PR, at a state meet, this was an incredible moment for me. I was flipping out at this meet because I was coming into it ranked ninth. I had like the lowest PR in the group almost, and I was just super, super scared that I was gonna know I. So the fact that I had already made three bars in a row, I think I was leading the comp at this point, or tied for first. Yeah, according to this, I was tied first with Graham, my teammate now, uh, we were tied and I was supposed to be in last, and he was supposed to win it. So we were tied at this moment, and I was just like, 
my brain, I was like, holy cow, holy cow, this is awesome. I just need to keep making bars. I can keep making bars. I can PR again. I can PR again. And so that was just literally, I was just thinking about just making more bars. And so we went to 14.6, which at this point would be a nine inch PR in one meet. Oh my gosh. He's just pristine over that bar. Dude, I have so much height over that actually. Holy cow. How did I only jump whatever I jumped at this meet? Like I'm over that by a lot. That's 14.6 looks easy on this video. Of course my leg gets really close to it right there because I'm not keeping my feet together. But overall, I've got a lot of height, bro. If I just, well actually I took off the ground that time. That's probably why. Yeah, you can see right there, I'm actually off the ground and I didn't run into the pole as bad. Yeah, this isn't, this is not terrible. This is not the worst I thought, as, as bad as I thought I was going to be watching this footage back. So, yeah, 14-6. I'm still, at this point, so we had a two-way tie with me and Graham still at 14-6. And then there's two other kids that both made 14-6 on their first. But technically, I was still in first at this point, which was insane. Um, I was tied for first, really, with Graham. But whatever, still insane. Um, let's go to now the 14-9 jump, which this would have been now a foot PR in one meet at a state meet, which like people don't like normally PR at state meets. Just saying, doesn't normally happen. But apparently I was on something this day. And there it is. I, I, <laughs> I, I know on the last jump we just talked about how much height I had over the bar, but I I really didn't think I could jump 15 feet, ever. Or, like, well not at this time, I didn't think I could. So as you can see, whatever you think you can jump, you will jump. Because you can see my leg gets so close to this bar, my whole body does. Even though we just had that last bar where I was over by a ton, my whole body tries to rub this one all the way over. But... Holy cow, yeah, I just, if I could go back and fix my technique, I would literally just work on plant. Because plant was my good thing, but I didn't take off the ground, so it made my bad thing at the same time. So if I could just go back and work on my plant and take off, I would have jumped so much higher in high school. Like, if I could jump off the ground in this video anywhere near what I can jump off the ground now, it would have been insane. But I was already planning big poles, like that's a 15-6 pole. I just didn't know how to control it at all. <laughs> so, good stuff, good stuff. So at this point, yes, uh, we are a foot PR'd. Uh, we're going to 15 feet, um, which I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make this. And you can see it in my attempts, like I don't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So I was clean in this comp up to this point. That's what I've always been pretty proud of about this competition is I was clean until I went out. I made one, two, three, four, five bars. I made five bars clean before I finally got to 15 feet and I was like, oh well, <laughs> this dream might be over. Graham's probably gonna win this. And even right there, like if I just knew how to do that, that, that driving up the pole, which I barely still know how to do now, if I had known how to do that, like, I could have won this meet, which is insane. But I hated this uniform so bad. Anyway, though, yeah, that was the end of the meet. I, uh, I think I attempted that a couple times. Let's watch the next attempt. Maybe the next attempt will be better. I doubt it, though. <laughs> oh, you can see, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's pause this. You can see Graham walking out in the background. Graham's in the blue shirt right there. Well, the blue uniform. Uh, he was winning. He was supposed to win it, and he was he was he was doing well. Let's see how this jump ends. Oh, <laughs> what went wrong here? Uh, I took off at twelve. Yeah, I was just in a hurry. I was not waiting on the pole. I just I needed to learn how to do that. Still, overall, super happy with how this meet went. Like I'm not even kidding. Like this. This bronze medal, of my three medals that I have, this bronze medal is the one that I'm most proud of because, I, I mean, I came in 
it doesn't even say what my PR on here was, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it was 13.6 or 13.9. And I came to this meet and I was like, I'm just gonna make whatever bars I can. And that's always been my thought process, like, but it, it, I've never been able to do it as well as I did on this day. Like, I shut off everything. Like, I wasn't thinking about what people were yelling. I wasn't thinking about who was in the crowd. I didn't care what my dad had to say about my technique or anything. Literally, the only thing we were saying was, do we need to go up a pole? Yeah, let's go up a pole. That was it. And then that's all we needed. We were just going up poles, maybe back up six inches, I think, on this run. And that was the whole thing. It was just, we're, we need to jump. And we're gonna jump whatever bars we can, and we're gonna try and like place. <laughs> the goal of this meet was not to win. The goal of this meet was to make two or three bars and be happy with how it went. And I made way more than that, and I PR'd. Which since that point, I after this meet, I didn't PR at a state meet ever again. I went to two more state meets after this. I never PR'd <laughs> because state meets, if you don't know, are stressful, especially in the state of Texas, where like they're a big deal. Like there's a lot of people that show up to state meets in Texas. And yeah, they were running the four by 400, I believe at this time as well. So like there was a ton of people like screaming in the stadium. Like it was a very awesome moment to be there. And yeah, this, I, I want to say this was one of the meets that helped me decide that I was going to go to Texas, like before they even started recruiting me or anything, because I'd always dreamed. I always watched the footage of my dad jumping at like state meet. They'll, well, not his state meet. I don't think he has footage of that. Um, but like the Texas relays and at practice and things like that, because my dad went to UT. And I'd always wanted to jump out there. And so this was my first moment to ever get to jump on that track. And I was like, dude, this is awesome. I wish I could do this every single day. And now I get to do that every single day. So that's very cool. Um, yeah, holy cow. This was fun to watch. Um, so. If you want me to look at your vi vault footage, send it to me on Instagram. I love hanging out and watching y'all's stuff. It's really cool to see y'all improve. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little analysis of my own technique, getting to make fun of me a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.